make everything that chisel a little bit. I put new screens for ports. Now we're ready to put the last coat of bottom paint on. And then I'll do the sideboards once this bottom's done. Cool. So Pete moved all the jack stands so he can paint underneath them and fill any holes, went over any other caulking spots, any other holes, sanded them all down. He No. He put the seam cement all in right here and hammered the cotton here. We thought we had gotten white caulking for this little spot right there, but we didn't, darn it. We gotta go return it and get We got the white on here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So we are caulking the cockpit combing boards down. Uh, usually what you would like to do is to tape it off. Mounted the cockpit combing boards. Now the last things to mount are these two pieces sitting on top of that foam actually go on either side of the aft cabin and that keeps the water from rolling into the cockpit. And we usually have a back dodger that comes down. And mounting this cleat and putting our screens back on, which I have Painted the rings and put new bronze screen in. Ready to go. So I think I'm gonna work on that this morning. And putting the leather where the bowsprit goes, right here. And then this is the non skid that I put on for the dock box. So that's all non skid. I also yesterday varnished this door and all the stairs, which I'm going to actually glue this down, needs gluing, um, but all the stairs I varnished. And I also put non-skid on the floors, just a little bit of non-skid on the floors because it is a pretty big floor and it's kind of slippery and I put a lot actually up in the foc'sle. And then I also non-skidded this floor. And I put a bin right there so that we can put all of our engine stuff in right there. The last final coat. Yeah. Well, as long as there's ever a final coat of bottom. I know what you want. Okay, so just for reference, this is what the boat looks like before the final coat of bottom paint. There's, of course, small details like where the jack stands were. We have some nails to fill and underneath the boat. Other than that, we're doing full strength, full coat. Layla's ready for a walk. <laughs> Are you ready for a walk? Are you ready? Cheers. I know. Yeah. That was a point in time where you just 
say enough is enough. We're going in the water. We're going to go sailing. We're not going to sing. <laughs> work on the boat forever. Yeah. And you know what? We did a good job. Yeah, we did. And there's next year to hit any little spots that you might have missed. Yep. I've seen some nightmares of boats that actually are in the water being used. <laughs> 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 and they haul them out and you're like, really? Wow. That's scary. Nor is not scary. Good shape. She was built good to begin with. Thanks to Fleming Jorgensen doing a really beautiful job building this boat. And, uh, you know. Yeah. I'm sure he misses it sometimes, and other times I'm sure he's glad he doesn't have it anymore. He put 10 years of his life in the building, I say. And a lot of money. Can't imagine how much he spent. Building this boat, yeah. But I think it was a good experience for him. He did a jam up job. Is that where the. Yeah. And some people, you know, enjoy the building process almost more than the sailing process. Some of the people are really good boat builders, but they don't really quite, maybe don't enjoy the sailing quite as much as the And believe me, they're two totally different things. Sailing is the art of doing absolutely nothing. And building is the... You have to fucking... You're always doing something. I'm not saying sailing you're not doing anything. But there's a lot of times where you're just sitting and waiting. Yeah. The boat's doing the work. Yeah. You can act like you're doing something, but really the boat's doing it. <laughs> Set the sails and you... That's about it. And you get to go on hikes and you get to... Not when you're sailing. No, but when you arrive somewhere, you're excited. Yeah. It's a brand new place. You can go for a hike and yeah, that part's and then you gotta look for work here and there. But the actual sailing is slow going. So it is the art of doing nothing. Yeah, and enjoying it. Yeah, going slow. Enjoying going slow and doing nothing. Yeah, staring up at the stars for hours. And hours and hours. Not staring at a cell phone. Staring at the ocean, just looking at the ocean and the waiting for some a whale to pop up or something. Waiting for a galley whopper. <laughs> wow. We reached an important part of the boat right there. Oh happy keel. I mean stem. What else? Surprise. <laughs> Finding that stem kind of a little compromise there. Yeah. And it's got another 20 years left in that repair. <laughs> yeah. Did a great job, Pete. Well, the only time will tell. Yeah. Eh, time will tell anything. <laughs> time is. Time is also irrelevant when you go sailing. <laughs> well, okay, it's, it's kind of relevant. You need Greenwich Mean Time. <laughs> Very relevant. <laughs> it's a different old. kind of, di old. kind of different kind of time. <laughs> I can never cut a waterline in with a roller. <laughs> <laughs>